all right so in this tutorial yeah we are going to be working on building our comment section so we are going to be retrieving comments from database so like when you click on a particular post if there's a comment on that it's, the comment is going to display so let me find a, a post with a comment on that it's something like I, I believe this one should have a comment as you can see the person that commented name and um, the content of the of the stuff so basically that's what we are going to be building in this section so if you are high please make sure you like and subscribe and watch to the end all right so let's get started okay so now let's go ahead and look at our response okay um our response we are going to go to post one i want to fetch fetch a um, list of comment on that post i believe we can go ahead and do um feed comment um uh, you know what let me just check the <laughs> api because i'm not sure i remember it so we have comment comments comments so we want to fetch out the list of comments we have to do comment the one with an s comments and let's say id of one send this okay so this one has an empty comment so let's try two okay good so yep this is what we need okay i'm just going to copy that make sure you copy that also all right then let's go to our for um, now let's go to our um quick type by you we're going to call this comment model so copy that down let's go to our visual studio code where we have our models in this place let's get and create a new mod a new file called comment model dot dot so we need to fix some certain things which is from this from this place we have to make them learnable all right then down here i believe we have to do something like this all right so you have to also do it for this place and also for this place okay then yeah okay good save this and um yeah we're done with that what we now have to do now is um we just have we can just copy this i'll call this comments uh we have to select the comments model here As I said, the comments model. I just imported that. Why? No, I'm just going to type it myself. Comments model. All right, good. So once that is done already, now we can go ahead and write our function to to fetch our comments. So we say future get comments. Comments. So this get comment is going to require an ID. So we are going to pass on an ID here async and this so now we are going to have a try and catch all right so one that is done we're going to do is loading dot value is equal to true and before that so always remember i want to do comment value dot clear so we will not have to like when we send out create a comment we don't have to like reload like the previous kind of mistake we have before so now we are going to do var response equals to await um http dot get this used to be url dot pass url then want to have nope want to have comments actually they want to have the id so you have feed comments id they want to have an header so this header we're going to have the accept just like we have recent um, previously so i'm just going to copy all this so copy all this and um paste then we can now go ahead and have body no we actually don't need any body because we are not posting anything we are just getting it so now we can go ahead and do if response dot status code is equals to 
200. So we can go ahead and print out the response and else. Um, okay. So basically, this is the same code that we have. Um, we have for our our post to get all our posts as you can see the same basically the same code that we have here so i think the github copilot knows what i want to do so you want to say it is false then you find out content just as body comments is it comment that i gave the response body so yep it is commenting this place once it's coming here we can now go and for loop tree it's then comment about the add comment dot from json exactly then if it's false do this all right so now we can go ahead and save this so you know what? I'm just going to run my, my application back. I've closed it. I, I closed it recently. So let's wait for that to finish running. All right now. So it's running now. There's something we need. We need to now do now. So in our post details here, we need to call our our controller. So the first we need to do is call the controller. So post controller, please. Oh wow! Out of this thing. Post controller, please just auto import this for me. So it gets to um get put actually post controller and I'm trying to wow well, I have to import this by myself so let's do import um what is it going to be called Con controllers I believe um what file is it Port. Oh wow! I actually don't know. How I'm going to. How I'm going to import that controller. This thing. I'm just going to. Oh, it's a package. Oh wow! So when okay, that means the yeah 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 the package is like the root 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 folder of everything. So we have the post controller here. Now what we can do is um. Yeah, so in this space, we are going to use the init state here because we want to fetch by ID, remember? We are going to use the init state here, so we are going to do post controller dot get comments. So this comment is requiring an ID, and the ID we're going to pass for it is going to be widget dot post dot ID. So basically, that's what we're going to do. And I believe we can save this. And um, where is it? this one here? So we can go ahead and wrap this in an OBX. So stream builder first. Move all this. Move this to OBX and um, delete all this. All right. So once that is deleted already, we can now go ahead and do uh, something like post controller dot is loading dot value. So once this is loading, I want to go ahead and have a center so child because basically sometimes if you don't specify that the stuff is loading now, yeah, you are going to have an error like a red error that says null till after fetching all the other data, then you are not going to see your response. So that's why I keep adding the loading stuff to prevent any error like that. So you save this. Now let's just auto restart for now. All right, now you see that you notice that once I clicked on this stuff, we have this error that says uh, "set it or mark build record doing build." So I believe for us be before we we'll be able to do this, I can just cut this and do. I believe I want to do something like widget widget binding if I can remember. So we have widget binding dot add no, dot instance. Okay, we need this and also we, this is not required actually. But, so we just need to add this. So this will allow like once the build has loaded finished, then to allow us to like you know send requests and allow us to call this particular function. So let's see this and hope this will work. So let's get an auto start again. So basically, we are trying to get all the comments. So let's go ahead and auto start. Forget to just click on really because you know you've not solved that previous error. So now let's get and click on comments. Like I see it is working now. That means our comment is available. So now for the comments here, we want we have the comments model actually. So where is it? I'm trying to find the comments. Stop. Okay. 
I believe this is this right here. So what we can do now is uh this item counts here. We can gonna do um uh, post controller dot comment dot length. So before com uh, length, we have to pass in value dot length. Remember, because it's a list, it's an array list, it's a list object. So what that is done. So this will give us like the amount of comment that we have. This that is what is going to be done. So if I should go back, uh, if possible, I should load or so. Okay, this is the one. So let me just go back. Click on comment. You can see we have we have um, zero comment on this post. So let's go to the first first one. I believe we have, we will have a comment here. Okay, we have zero comment here. I'm trying to find where we have a comment actually. How about this one? Yeah, so we have a comment here. So we have one comment here. So is our is our rendering out this comment here? We are just going to render out um a list view instead. So this leaves you have the username and uh not list view, list style. I mean yeah. So we render a list style. So this is how I have the name of the person and uh, the content. So once you have the content, which is um I believe it's comment I called it dot body. Okay, it's actually body. They want to have the user then the name of the user exactly. So save this and if you go back. As we have nice content that we have is created by precious but I want to go ahead and swap this. So this should be user dot name. Then here yeah, we just want um, the body actually. Okay, so we want only the body in this case. Save this. Nice, so good. So we are getting all the comments now. Now the next tutorial we're going to be looking at how we can post our comment to a particular post. See you next time. Peace.